Hey Daily Doses, this is Pastor Larry here again, and we're taking a look at uh, some of the unsung heroes in the Bible. And today I want to take a look at a couple of guys that are found in Exodus chapter 31, first 11 verses. Uh, God is giving instructions to Moses about how to build the temple. And their names are Beziel and Oliab, and uh, truth of the matter is, I'm not sure that's how you say those names. But if I say them confidently, then whatever. You'll just be good with me, right? So you can look it up, uh, play the little Google speech. Maybe you, you'll find it said differently. But uh, uh, these guys uh, not only have names that we don't use today and hardly know how to pronounce, uh, but uh, they're, they're just kind of buried in Scripture. Uh, Bezalel is actually shows up a couple of other times. But let's, let's see what the Bible says about him. Uh, it, it says that, Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Ur of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and then catch this, and all kinds of skills. You see, he wasn't going to be a prophet. He wasn't going to be a priest. He wasn't going to be a, 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 a scholar of God's word. He, he really had no religious function, if you will. He was filled with the Spirit with, catch this, all kinds of skills. Well, skills to do what? To make artistic designs, to work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of crafts. And the passage goes on. And I think there's something incredibly important here because we, we often t uh, have live our life as if there's a spiritual and a secular world, uh, a world that's uh, involved with the things of God and a world that's involved with the things of mankind. And when we're Jesus followers, when we're his people and the children of Israel were his people, uh, what happens is every part of our life belongs to God. Every part of our life represents God and every good and perfect gift we have comes from God. You know, uh, there, there's a lot of people who have gifts maybe in construction like this or, or they have gifts of uh, leadership out in the marketplace or they have gifts of empathy or they have uh, uh, skills with their, their hands for surgery or, or whatever it would be. And, and we tend to think, man, Lord, I just wish you would give me a gift that I could like use to advance your kingdom, having no idea that whatever it is you were particularly talented at is your gift. Your spiritual gift is made up of those things the Spirit of God has given you a skill in, in which you are, I like to say it, more skilled than the average bear. Uh, that when you look around, you, you might not be the most skilled person in it, but when you look around, you go, man, I do this really, really well. And I want to encourage you to embrace that. Uh, Beziel and Oliab didn't, didn't wish they were Moses or Aaron or part of the Levite priesthood or, or anything like that. They looked around and they said, man, we have these incredible skills. Let's put them to use. Let's not bury them. Let's put them to use. And they put them to use building the temple. Mm, spiritual. But let's think about it for a moment. Nobody would have known they had those skills if they hadn't just put them to use previously in the marketplace. Back when they were slaves in Egypt, in the relationships when they got out of Egypt. You see, all these things honor God. When we wake up, do our best, walk in integrity, and take whatever skills and gifts he use and use them for the glory of God, God is glorified. That's what unsung heroes do. And they stand before the Lord and they get the same, well done, thou good and faithful servant. They get the same thing as the guys who wrote scripture, as the people who teach the scripture, as those who get up on the platform. Well done, thou good and faithful servant.